How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood's East Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood's with the Shave and Cadre. Quick video today. Um, as I've stated in uh, previous videos, I'm going to be going on a little bit of a hiatus. Reason being I'm going on uh, taking a trip um, and wanted to go over some of the things that I've learned traveling internationally uh, with wet shaving gear. So the first thing, obviously, with any of your dual edge, single edge safety razors, um, as well as if you're traveling with straights or camisories or uh, chevettes is at a minimum do not pack any of your blades in your carry-on. Uh, you can't take them on the plane, they won't let you, they'll confiscate them. Um, best bet is to put them in your check baggage. So <clears throat> I will be taking two different razors with me. Um, I will be taking my Feather Camisori SS um, and I will be bringing along with that some Feather Pro Guard blades. Those will go into my check bags, as well as my Gillette Aristocrat. Right here, twist to open, dual edge razor. And I have the original case to this, like that. And for the dual edge razor, I'm going to be bringing a couple of partial tucks of the Supermax and Permasharp. Stainless, and they'll go right in here. Close that up nice. And both of those, all, all three of those items will go into my carry-on. Um, so there's a couple of other things, uh, quite a bit of, quite a few other things I'll be taking um, in regards to just general grooming or uh, shaving, whatnot. Of course, need a brush. So uh, I don't, typically all of my shaving stuff goes into my carry-on. Uh, excuse me, my, uh, my, my check bags. So, um, I get everything nice and, uh, and packed away. Um, so I'll be taking two brushes with me, one natural, one synthetic. So the synthetic I'll be taking is my Wolf Whiskers 25 millimeter black wolf knot. And I have the original box for that for transportation. So it doesn't get all beat up as well as my Paladin Manic Depression. This is a 28 millimeter. Uh, I just used it today. And uh, I have a tube for that. So those will get packed away so they don't get damaged. Um, then soaps. So there's a couple different ways you can travel with soaps. You can take one big tub and just travel with the tub. Or you can make different, uh, different sample sizes. So I've got three samples right here. Uh, one is Champs de Levin. That's a Declaration Grooming Bison Tallow. I have WSP Matterhorn. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this one. And I also have Ariana and Evan SoCal Hipster and Donkey Milk. So I definitely take the uh, Champs de Levand and the uh, SoCal Hipster. I'm also going to take a couple of full tubs with me. Uh, I'm going to take Wickham Nymphaeo de Edria, as well as the club's signature. Taking those two with me, even though I'm going for just a couple weeks. Um, just love those scents. Um, as far as aftershave is concerned, so for the Champs de Lavande and the uh, Soka Hipster, I have some aftershave right here ready to go in some travel size bottles. Um, the Nenfeo Ad Adria, um, I have the Balm 4 right here. And that's not going. As well as I'm also taking a bottle of Aqua de Parma Blue Bend at uh, Fico de Malfi, which is what Nymphaeo de Adria was modeled after, but I have the travel case for it. This is also going into my carry-on, or my, excuse me, my, uh, check bags. Um, as far as the, <clears throat> the club signature, so it's a rather large bottle right here. So it's quite substantial, it's going to take up a lot of room, and it's also glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in some bubble wrapping. It's nice and tight around it. And I'll also pack it into some clothes, give it additional padding, so uh, I don't have to worry about that. I'll probably tape the, uh, the top clothes too. Um, <clears throat> you can take some shaving stuff onto your, your carry-on. Um, typically what I use um, is what's called a dop kit. I use a tri-fold dop kit. Some people just use a pouch or a sack. Um, this folds up nice 
um, and has the straps to <coughs> to secure it and you can also hang it up through uh, right here and it holds quite a bit of stuff I, uh, I was quite surprised when I first got it how much stuff it could hold um, a couple of other things that I'll be taking uh, is some witch hazel some balm some alum a bowl for lathering and then that's pretty much it for uh, my shave related related items I'll also be taking a selection of some uh, eau de toilettes uh, this is uh, endymion uh, not taking that and some uh, colonia uh, but as far as hair products go um, I've been on a Lockhart's anti-gravity kick lately so this is a fiber um, see it's, uh, it's interesting but uh, it's uh, I, I'm really enjoying the way this works um, and then I'll be taking a travel brush that I'll keep on me and then a comb and an actual hairbrush to be packed. Um, it's a lot of stuff. Realistically, if I was just, uh, I mean, realistically, I could probably pare it down to just my wolf whiskers, my aristocrat, then Feo from Wickham, the balm from Wickham. And the Aqua de Parma, and 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 honestly, be happy. But I like variety. But the big thing is when you guys are traveling, make sure that if you do want to bring your wet shaving gear, uh, don't pack your blades uh, into your carry-on. I would not pack your um, your razors in there too. Um, I have seen razors confiscated that were empty. Um, just because it's a razor and TSA gets antsy about things that are called razors so um, I, I wouldn't if you're not if you don't have a check bag um, stick to your the dreaded cart razors now in my dot kit that I keep on my uh, in my carry-on I do have a, uh, a fusion this nasty thing but I keep it in there along with a little bit of mouthwash, um, some hand sanitizer, uh, and a very simple shaving kit. Um, I'll generally throw a smaller brush in there, probably something like along these lines, uh, just for just to have something in, in case of emergencies. Typically, if I run into an emergency, I'm not really concerned about shaving though. So uh, I'll throw some deodorant in there, a small travel deodorant or something along those lines as well. Uh, but yeah. Just wanted to go over that real quick. Um, some of the things that you, you definitely don't want to have in your carry-on. The other thing that I need to caution everybody is don't put full bottles of fragrance into your, your carry-on. So for example, reach back here. If I put a full if I put a full bottle of Panhaligans into my carry-on, this will get confiscated because, or it's on the verge of getting confiscated because this is right at, I believe, 100 milliliters. Um, which is the uh, the limit for liquids in your carry-on. Uh, so if you're going through a place like Heathrow out in London, um, they're very strict about that, and you actually have to have all of your liquids within one Ziploc bag. You can't have multiples. So if you can't fit it all into one Ziploc bag, um, it needs to be discarded. So I would, um, if you're traveling internationally, I would make sure that you have um, your more valuable fragrances, I would have those in your check bags. Make sure that they're secured, make sure that they're padded. Um, Lord knows that any valuables, uh, make sure you have a lock on your suitcase uh, that is TSA approved. If it's not TSA approved, they will remove it or they'll ask you to remove it. Um, but yeah, just wanted to go over that real quick, guys. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting out of here for a little bit and uh, going back seeing uh, seeing what I'm missing back home so 
Uh, if you haven't checked out the Shaving Cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com. Stop on by, check it out. We'd love to see you there. And uh, yeah, all you guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, Tuesday morning, for another shave video. All right, see you then, guys. Peace. Oh, 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 o